Hello everyone, it's me, SleepyXD, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to take your Roblox from looking like this, to looking something a little bit like this. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video and you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to drop a like and subscribe as it really helps the channel, and without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, now in this tutorial, there will be two main sections for how to actually get your game to look like this. The first section that I'll be showing you guys is how to install shaders, basically how to get all these reflections, and how to get ray tracing inside of Roblox, and the second part will be how to install custom skies like these and many more different skies you can choose for yourself. Anyway, the only requirements for this tutorial is to have a working computer with Windows 11 and an NVIDIA graphics card. Now if you'd like to check if you have an NVIDIA graphics card, hit Alt and Z. You should pull up this menu. If you don't have GeForce Experience, make sure to download that and then you'll be ready to follow this tutorial. Anyways, let's get right into this tutorial. Alright guys, so we're on my desktop right now and the main site that we are going to want to use for this video is called Blocks Shade. Now to go ahead and find this site, I'll put a link in the description to it. But you want to go ahead and press download here and you can go ahead and just download it to your downloads folder. From there, you want to go ahead, open this, and I guess we can just put it on our desktop. That way you guys can like follow along with what I'm doing in particular. But put this block shade right into here. And as you guys can see, we have our actual like little block shade folder here. What you guys want to do is you want to go to extract all and then just extract it to the same location. And then we'll actually get like our little file that actually has the block shade inside of it. Now all you have to do is run this installer, hit more info and run anyway. Um, block shade is pretty safe to use and just hit yes on that window now I'm not going to install it as I already have it installed for the purposes of this video But all you have to do is just hit this install button and then it gives you options for presets that you want you can choose any presets But in this video, I'll be showing you the presets that I have now once you do that You should be able to close out of all these windows Go back into roblox hit alt z go to game filters and you should be able whenever you have all these like filter things on the side you should be able to hit add filter now i'll show you guys how to get my actual custom shader settings at the end of the video but let's get into how to install a custom sky all right guys so we're back on my desktop now and as you guys can see i have a devi mm2 skies thing pulled up right here what you want to go do is you want to hit install for this and download anyway and then uh, we'll go ahead and install this to our desktop and let's save it to there and now we have we should have it somewhere in here yeah all right, as you guys can see, now we have our Devi MM2 skies on our uh, PC right here. And what you guys can do is hit extract all again with this. Hit extract once again. And for this part, make sure you have your Roblox closed. Let's drag this actual folder to our desktop as well. And make sure you have your Roblox closed for this. I have mine open. But what you want to go ahead and do is you want to open this folder. And you can see these little, like, what the skies are going to look like in-game for you. For example, I'm using Pink Sunset. And you can choose which one you like the most here. I guess for the purposes of this tutorial, we'll use the overcast sky. And I will close my Roblox now. And as you guys can see, my Roblox should be closed. Yeah, there we go. And to go ahead and actually install it, go to your Roblox player. Hit open file location. And then once you have this, hit open file location again. And then from there, you should have platform content, PC, and then you can go to your textures. From here, you should be able to access your sky textures. And now we have all these files here, which are texture files. From there, go to the one that you want. For this one, I'll be using Overcast. Open them here. Copy all these files besides the PNG and drag them into here. And what you want to do is hit replace files in the destination. Run that and then you should be good to go ahead and close these out. And let's get into Roblox and I'll show you guys my shader settings. Alright, as you guys can see, it worked, and we now have the overcast sky and shader settings, but as for the actual custom settings that I'm using, if we hit our GeForce overlay right here, you guys can see that I have block shade shine and color. Now, as for block shade shine, I do not have anything changed under that, under that but for color, you want to put your tint color at 36, tint, sense, or tint intensity at 24, temperature at 0 0.5, and vibrance at 14.6. If you do that... That will give you the exact uh, like sky and color settings that I'm using, but you guys can also add your own effects if you'd like. To do that, go ahead, press game filter, hit add filter, and for this one, I'll show you guys how to add a little rim effect for all of your stuff. So go to zeal rim light, you can add that from there. And then if you wanna go ahead and play with that, you can hit the arrow, and we can choose effect strength, turn this up a little bit, and as you guys see, by doing that, we now have a small little outline on everything. 
so if you'd like to add any more effects you can browse through which effects you have but yeah as for just making your own shaders and making the best looking ones i would just try all the different effects see what each of them does and see which ones you like the best anyways i hope this tutorial helped and i really hope you consider dropping a like and subscribing as i'm a fairly small youtuber and i'm really trying to hit 10k by the end of this year anyways thank you guys so much for watching to the end of the video make sure to comment anything that you'd like to know further if you guys have gotten this far and i might make a tutorial on it in the future Anyways, once again, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and make sure to get some rest. This is me, Sleepy, signing off. Good night.